Coming up, troubleshooting the artillery Sidewinder X1 issues. Why is it shutting off? Let's take a look. Hey everybody, Chris, Sergeant Taz here, and today I'm going to look at troubleshooting the artillery Sidewinder X1, why it was shutting off on me, um, and what I did to sort it out. Now, it started off as I thought it was an octoprint error, so I naturally assumed I was having communication problems because it would print, as you're going to see in a minute or two here. And it would just stop right about what I didn't realize was right when the cooling fans would kick on or the cooling fan itself rather would kick on and then the print would just stop and I'd get the machine turning on and off not calling a kill or anything which was odd but I was like okay what the heck could go on now the strange part was I could I did a couple small prints through the USB and didn't get the issue. I guess the fan didn't kick on. There's only I can think of during the print for whatever reason, and it didn't. It just ignored it and did the smaller prints no problem. So I figured it was an octoprint issue. So I went through all of that until I realized when I'm doing the larger prints is when I had my issue. I get to the third layer height where the fan kicked on, it would stop, stutter, and still like it's trying to print. And then it just wouldn't complete it properly. It just kept blanking the screen on and off, which I thought was a bad thing. So I'd shut it down and try and restart it. Turns out this was the culprit. For some reason, the original fan that I had was shorting out, not by the wires, but actually on the internals inside the fan. So inside here, it was shorting out and I'm not sure why I, I, I couldn't see what was wrong I don't know if the chip just died or or what have you but I guess it died enough that it was arcing so as soon as the printer decided to enable the fan it would draw power and short causing the stuttering issues you just seen so my solution was obviously to buy a new fan and replace it which I did I bought Winsin fans um, let me see if I got the box. So I replaced it with these guys. Went up on Amazon. Bought four because I figured, you know what? Might as well have spares. And for 10 bucks, I got spare fans, right? Um, the only oddball thing was when I got them, those pins reversed so I plugged it all up got it all together and thought hey I'm all good right that's all set back up hit my print go and all nothing would happen with the fan the fan wouldn't kick on so now I'm scratching my head I'm like well I just replaced the fan with a brand new one they're 24 volt like they should be what could be the problem pins are reversed so make sure you do a good check on any fan you get aftermarket and make sure that you have the right direction for the plus and negative or positive and negative on the fans because for some reason 
they were reversed on all the fans that I had gotten from them. So I'm thinking the artillery maybe has it reversed for some reason. I'm not sure why, but maybe because of the ribbon cables is my only thought is that maybe the way they wind up on the on the pin board they have to reverse them so keep that in mind so you don't screw up like I did go start going through a print and not get any cooling at all because it don't kick on didn't short out didn't stop the print at all but it did not turn the fan on so keep that in mind switch those around and hopefully you can get whatever issue started um, like I said, if you saw the vi you saw the video that I just posted in between here, that showed you what it was doing. So that's why I was like, I thought Octoprint because nine times out of ten, you get a communication issue and that's what happens. Clearly, wasn't the case. So hopefully this helps you out. Give me a like and subscribe. Appreciate it, and see ya.